Hello, I'm Kay. Next tutorial. This tutorial is meant to be Twisty the Clown from the New American Horror Story Series 4 um, Freak Show. Now, I've not actually seen it yet because this series hasn't come out in England yet, unfortunately, uh, which is really annoying. But it came out a couple of days ago in America, and since this episode aired, like episode one, and this character came to light, everyone went mad requesting it. So I thought, oh, okay, fair enough. You guys must really want to see it. So I thought I would give it a go. Um, <laughs> I've literally had 30 seconds to prepare for this tutorial, so um, I hope it's okay. Um, like, the costume's not exact, but that's because I said 30 seconds to prepare, and I just had this one cl clown costume lying around so here it is um, <laughs> uh, but yeah it was requested so many times so I'll flash on screen now the first few people that requested it but the very first person that requested it was Alexis Stevens I'm pronouncing that right a popular name there so you were the first person but thank you everyone that requested it um, and yeah, it's a fairly interesting makeup. It's fairly easy. Um, I mean, the messier it is, the better, really, because I think it's not meant to be... I mean, it's meant to be this makeup that was done a long time ago and slept in by the looks of it, and you just had loads of blood splattered over them and wiped off, and... Yeah, pretty creepy. Think Heath Ledger's Joker, and yeah, go that way. Do it all, and then smudge it all up and make it look messy. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that's all I have to say about this look, really. But if you'd like to learn how to recreate it, stay tuned. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is blocking out both my eyebrows, and I'm also going to be applying a plain latex ball cap. So I'll pop links here and here to the tutorials I've done in the past to teach you guys how to do that, just to make this video a tiny bit shorter. So I'm going to do all that and get back to you. So there we are. I should point out, you don't have to block out your eyebrows. I think in the series they've not blocked these eyebrows. I think they've just covered over them with paint. I think it's meant to be very, like, slapdash kind of makeup, messy and dirty kind of thing. Um, but as you guys know, if you've seen previous videos, I like blocking out my eyebrows just because it gives, like, a really seamless finish. Plus it can change your face shape completely and everything about you. So, um, I'm going to maybe draw them on or maybe shade them. This area's going to be quite messy anyway. So, yeah, I just like blocking them out. That's completely up to you guys. And I've also gone over the edge of my ball cap with two to three layers of liquid latex just to get rid of the edge. So to start off with with the makeup, I'm going to start with the mouth because it's the most intricate bit of the whole thing. Everything else is messy except for the mouth because I think this part's meant to be a mask. So I'm going to start tracing on the shape of the teeth, similar to my Smiler makeup, um, but there are teeth are a lot bigger. So I'm going to use an OCC uh, eyeliner or a lip liner pencil, whichever you prefer, used for the same thing. And it's going to start tracing on the shape. And it doesn't matter how neat you are at this stage because I'm just going to be sketching this on because it's going to be coloured over with like watercolour and cream. So it doesn't matter roughly, it's just a guide for yourself really. So then I'm going to take a white watercolour by Snazaru and I'm just going to colour in the area where I'm going to put the teeth. Then I'm going to take a red Snazaru watercolour and I'm just going to line the area above the teeth so where the gum is going to be, so leaving enough room for a lip. Then I'm going to take a Grimace Brown Cream, this is their 1001, and I'm going to use that for the lip colour. So I'm just going to colour in the whole bottom area here, so the bottom lip is a lot bigger than the top lip and then a really, really fine line above the red on the top. Then I'm going to take my eyeliner pencil again, and I'm just going to start drawing on the teeth again, but this time the final version. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go over the white, just try and be as neat as you can to start off with, because then we can mess it up with maybe a cream or an eyeliner pen afterwards. Then I'm going to take Grimace Black Cream, and I'm just going to, that's their 101, I'm just going to score the brown lip that I've drawn on here because the idea is I can score it straight across and then taper the colour upwards just so it gives the illusion that the teeth are more sunken in than the actual lip. Then I'm just going to do the same on top, so score right across and then blend the colour downwards just before the teeth start. Then I'm just going to take some more of that cream and just blend the edges inwards so it covers, not completely, but it goes over the teeth just to make it look like there's a gradient so it gets lighter as it gets towards the middle just to make these teeth look like they're hidden under the gum. And I'm just going to do the same on the middle half of the teeth. I'm just going to blend the colour down but only a tiny bit because we want this still to be the brighter area. So it's still going to look like the lips are shaded over it and the cheeks are shaded over it but not quite as dark as here. So I'm going to stop on this for now because I think I can work on this later on, making it look a bit more vibrant maybe. We'll see. So I'm not overly sure where this has come from, but in the photos he seems to have it. So I'm going to work on this big gash he's got going from ear to ear all the way along his forehead. So rather than cutting into my ball cap and getting through all that mess, I'm just going to use some third degree. You could use wax for this, but I think this will be nice and easy to work with and easier to blend, plus it'll last a lot longer. So I'm going to blend 50% of A with 50% B, and that'll give me a nice paste that I can work with so I can just blend it across. So I'm going to do it probably 
you, about where my ball cap join line is, but a little bit higher maybe. So I've mixed up a fair amount of it, and the idea is that I'm just going to smear that across where I want it to go, and then I can blend that afterwards. So once it's all nicely blended, I'm just going to take my spatula, I'm just going to score all the way through it, making it as deep as I possibly can, cutting it across, and then sweeping the that spatula out just so the cut the cut tapers off so that there's no blunt edge, just a sharp gash. So there we are. Unfortunately, you can't really see it on the camera with the lights that I've got on here, but hopefully when we paint it, you'll obviously see it more. Um, but yeah, I've gone in with the spatula just to make it as deep as possible, so I've got a thick edge either side. And yeah, just to make it look like there's a proper defining edge that I can paint loads of blood in and make it look pretty gross. So after a few minutes, when that's all dry, I can take some Snazaroo Clown White, and I'm just going to paint the inside area. So I'm not going to go beyond this cut here. I'm not going to paint the ball cap with it. I'm going to do that with a skin tone later. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to paint the inside of my face here first. So I'm not going to powder it or anything, because I need this to be fairly slapdash looking, and it's worn away clearly. I mean, it's covered in blood in me, so yeah, it ain't going to look perfect. So once I've done that, I can work on the lines for the um, nasal labial folds. So basically, this is going to be to make it look like he's smiling, so, well, obviously, yeah. <laughs> so for this, I'm going to use the brown Grimace Cream, the 1001. So I'm going to draw on the nasal labial folds. are going to go starting at yeah, about where your nose is, and I'm going to draw a circle shape so I'm gonna go into the smile that I've got here a bit just to make it look a bit more rounded but I'll show you as I'm doing it and I can show you where I'm gonna blend so then I need to get rid of most of the color and I can blend this color upwards so leaving the underside completely clear of any of the color so just taper the color and pull it up So then I'm just going to go around the nose slightly, just, I think it's probably where the mask drawing line is meant to be, but, yeah, it's okay. So I'm just going to go around the nostrils, like that, and then I'm going to join that, do exactly the same again as I've done here, I'm going to blend that colour outwards. Okay, so I'm going to leave that for now, so that's this area pretty much done for now. Then I'm going to take a black Grimace Cream, again, and I'm going to take a fairly fluffy brush, I'm just going to start staggering the colour out on my hand, because I don't want this to be neat at all. So I'm going to go underneath the eye, not as far as your bags would go, but quite far. I'm just going to bring the colour outwards. So I'm going to start the colour underneath and then pull the colour downwards in a fairly rough pattern because this just looks like it's been smudged on in it, like he slept in it. Okay, I'm going to do the same on top but not cover my entire eyelid. So I'm just going to cover just the start of my eyelid and then blend the colour outwards. So I don't want it to go too far over my eyebrow because that's where I'm going to draw the lines on for the clowny pattern that he has. Yeah. <laughs> Super, super, super messy, and I know there's a lot of you out there that are probably like me, but it's just killing me to do this as messy as I possibly can, but that's the idea. So, <laughs> I'm trying not to make it neat at all. So, now I've done that, I can work on the lines it's got. So, I'm going to take my Snazzaro Red Watercolour, and I'm going to draw one line going straight straight down the middle, starting from the top all the way down to the bottom, almost meeting the cheeks, so probably about there. Um, and then I can work on making it a triangle shape, so it's thicker in the middle and tapers outwards. So again, not overly neat, but you get the point. Yeah, so then I'm going to take a super, super, super fine brush, and I'm going to take the brown cream again, and I'm going to start doing some of these wrinkles that he has, because he's very, very messy. So I'm going to do a few little furrows on the brow, some crow's feet. Yeah, but as I said, I'll draw them on, as I did before, and then I'll blend afterwards so you know where I've gone. So just a few rough wrinkles, so forehead furrows, crow's feet, going down the cheeks a little bit. Yeah, so then I'm going to blend this a little bit different than I usually do. I'm just going to take some of the white water, uh, watercolour that I've got before, and it's going to taper off the edges, just so they don't start anywhere particular. And the reason I say blend them different than usual is just because these are meant to be deep set wrinkles that have been covered with like cake, like clown face paint. So yeah, you're not going to blend them and shade them as you would normally. So then I'm going to colour my ball caps, so I'm going to use a Crowland TV paint stick in 3W, so not the lightest shade, but still a skin tone, and I'm just going to apply that all over my ball cap, still leaving this area that's got silicone completely clear, because I'm going to be covering loads of blood all over that and yucky stuff. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to be colouring it all the way back there, and then I'm going to blend that out.
So then the fun part, and a bit I know you've all been waiting for, the cut across the head and the blood. So first things first, I'm going to take Crowell and Bruise Will, and I'm going to use the super, super, super dark colour, almost blue, and I'm just going to use an angle brush and score roughly across the shapes I want, and then just start colouring the inside of this, and then I can go in and colour it like the blood and yucky stuff. Technical term, that, yucky stuff. <laughs> oh, the reason I'm going in with the dark colour is because it makes it look deeper than it actually is. Yeah. So then I'm going to take some Fresh Scratch Blood by Acrolin, and I'm just going to go all around the insides of this, just where I've gone with the dark colour, just to start a thicker blood going on, and I can spackle it with some fake blood. So then the fun bit, the fake blood. So I'm going to take a fairly fluffy brush, and I'm going to just start spackling this in no particular fashion all over the cut. Gonna work on the three tufts of hair that he has. So I'm gonna use some really, really old matted blonde hair, which I just happen to have lying around. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna cut these off. They're not particularly long. Um, I'm gonna cut them off. I'm gonna hairspray them. I think there's one is red, one is green, one is maybe yellow, maybe like that. And I'm gonna spirit gun them in three places onto my head. So nothing much bigger or thicker than that. So three of them. And there we go. So all it's left me to do is pop in my costume. And there we go, so that's the look complete. So I finished look off by popping on a costume, which is the closest I'm gonna get to in the series, I think, at the moment, because, uh, like I said before, I only had like 30 seconds to prepare for this look, um, so I grabbed a clown costume that I've had lying around, which I think is actually meant to be a Pennywise costume, which I will be doing later on this month. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope it's okay that it's, it's similar, it's got the ruffles. I hope that's okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's my look complete. There's no extra finishing touches, like no neatening things up, because I mean, the messier this look is, the better. I mean, it's killing me. I'm dying to put something in my waterline in my eyes, but try and make the eyes look as human as possible, because that's the only thing about this look, really, that's relatively human looking, which makes it all the more creepy. So yeah, leave the eyes as they are. Um, but yeah, that's my look complete. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I can't wait to see the series. Thank you guys so much for requesting this look, because I wouldn't, known about, wouldn't have known about the character otherwise. So I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, so that's it. So until next time, bye.